The Earth's core is undergoing a faster cooling process than initially estimated, prompting questions about how scientists arrived at this conclusion, where their previous understanding went awry, and, most importantly, the potential impacts of this decreasing core temperature on our planet. To comprehend this significant discovery, let's briefly explore the internal structure of Earth. The Earth's interior is generally divided into three main layers. The crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust, the outermost layer, is hard and brittle, extending from the Earth's surface to a point known as the Mohorovicic Discontinuity, or MOHO. The MOHO is located approximately 10 kilometers below the seafloor and around 35 kilometers beneath the surface of continents. Beneath the MOHO lies the mantle, a dense layer that constitutes more than half of the Earth's volume. Further, the mantle is separated from the core by the Guttenberg discontinuity about 2880 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. However, the layering doesn't end here. Even the core is divided into two regions, the inner core and the outer core. The outer core is molten, predominantly liquid iron and nickel, and the inner core is solid and much denser than either iron or nickel present at the surface. Amongst all these regions, the Earth's molten interior is like a beating heart that keeps the planet going due to the planet's continuous motion. The conductive fluid present inside the Earth creates an electric current. This electric current, in turn, produces a magnetic field that further interacts with the fluid motion to create a secondary magnetic field. This phenomenon is known as the dynamo effect, and it is responsible for the Earth's self-sustaining magnetic field. A planet's magnetic field plays a pivotal role in shaping its habitability. This field is essential for a planet to retain its atmosphere against the gravitational pull of its star. Additionally, the magnetic field shields the planet from harmful cosmic radiation by deflecting it, and it serves as the basis for navigation with a compass, given that the planet's interior is not solid. The Earth's landmass comprises 15 tectonic plates, which continuously move. Tectonic activity and volcanism contribute to sustaining life by stabilizing global temperatures and the carbon cycle. For this intricate balance to persist, the planet's interior must remain molten. However, the Earth's interior has been cooling since its formation, and the accelerated cooling observed indicates that the interior may solidify sooner than previously anticipated. Consequently, if the Earth's interior solidifies, all geological activity could cease, potentially transforming the planet into a barren world akin to Mars or Mercury. This conclusion stems from an analysis of the behavior of a critical mineral, known as Bridgmanite, positioned precisely at the boundary between the Earth's outer iron nickel core and the molten fluid, lower mantle above it. Bridgmanite's ability to conduct heat is a crucial factor, influencing the rate of heat transfer through the core and into the mantle. The conductivity of Bridgmanite plays a pivotal role. The higher the conductivity, the faster the heat transfer, and consequently, the quicker the interior will cool. Researchers conducted experiments by irradiating a single crystal of Bridgmanite with pulsed lasers, simultaneously determining its conductivity. They elevated the temperature to 2440 Kelvin and the pressure to 80 gigapascals to replicate conditions prevailing in the lower mantle. The results yielded surprising insights into the mineral's behavior. The study revealed that the thermal conductivity of Bridgmanite is approximately 1.5 times higher than previously assumed. Additionally, as Bridgmanite cools, it transforms into another mineral called post-perovskitent, which is even more thermally conductive than Bridgmanite. This transformation implies a further increase in the rate of heat loss from the core into the mantle. These findings collectively indicate that Earth similar to the other rocky planets in our solar system, is undergoing cooling and becoming inactive at a faster rate than initially anticipated, raising concerns. However, there is a silver lining. While mineral conductivity is a significant factor, many other variables may contribute to determining the rate at which a planet's interior cools down. For example, the decay of radioactive elements is another heat-generating process that can reach temperatures high enough to sustain volcanic activity. These elements represent a significant source of heat in the Earth's mantle, although their contribution is not fully understood at present. What is certain is that the exact duration of the cooling of the Earth's interior remains uncertain. However, the process is unlikely to be rapid on timescales relevant to human existence. 
Moreover, it is possible that the Earth could encounter uninhabitable conditions due to other mechanisms long before the subsurface cools completely. Nevertheless, continued research is expected to provide more information on the accuracy and timing of this cooling phenomenon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos.